I agree with your observation that we can make a distinction between so-called classical anarchism on the one hand and uh, contemporary anarchism on the other. Um, this is a direct result of, of, uh, of a fact that uh, every political idea uh, reflects uh, circumstances in which it is shaped. Um, here we, we should return to Dave Neal, who wrote an interesting essay in 1997. And Dave Neal was the first one who coined a concept of so-called small A anarchism. On one hand, we got capital A anarchism, so-called classical anarchism, or anarchism as an ideology. And on the other hand, we got small A anarchism, or contemporary anarchism, or anarchism of, uh, as a methodology. And as Neil said, uh, nowadays we, we got many interesting examples out there that are so close to uh, anarchist uh, ideas and praxis, but uh, they don't have this um, identity. They don't uh, interpolate themselves into anarchists, into someone who's following anarchist ideology. And of course, uh, uh, anarchism of everyday life is, is more subversive in respect that it uh, uh, takes into account uh, what is different in the here and now. Uh, classical anarchism reflected situation at the end of 19th century and the beginning of 20th century. And therefore the main target was, was the state. Uh, also contemporary anarchism is offering a severe critique of the state. But here uh, it is more, more precise because it is not uh, trapped into this false idea that the state is the main target, the main problem that uh, global political community is facing. Of course, uh, there are many anomalies, many uh, difficulties with, with this political organization and of course we got many ideas how we can open things up. But today the, the nation state is still offering at least a partial venue for political participation. It is, in a way, a barrier to uh, these um, waves of financial Katrina that is nowadays shaking the, the international community. And uh, within uh, contemporary anarchism, therefore, we, we can find um, a paradoxical position that the nation state should be strengthened nowadays uh, so we can change it or even abolish it on the long way, on the long run. Um, on the other hand, um, uh, contemporary anarchism is also more precise in addressing uh, problems out there. Uh, here we should admit that also classical anarchism was uh, very open, very progressive. It was not following idea of, of uh, vulgar Marxism that only uh, the economy matters, no. Uh, already classical anarchist thinkers said that uh, we should start from a different position, that uh, exploitation within factories is one thing, but there are many more problems uh, that we should address. But within contemporary anarchist movement, uh, we can see that uh, the topics uh, that are uh, put under the question is much more diverse and broad because contemporary anarchism is starting from a position that Murai Bookchin once said and described as problem of hierarchy and domination. That the only problem is not economic exploitation of the masses, but rather hierarchy and domination as such. That means that if we follow only exploitation within the factory, this is only part of the problem. There are many more out there. Exploitation that doesn't have economic meaning at all exploitation of women, exploitation of students, exploitation of, of nature, exploitation of the third world, exploitation of different cultures and so on. 